Hey YouTube, it's New Life for Jen, or Jen. I'm coming in today to just do a quick regular update. I did a plastic surgery slash incision update yesterday. So I'm coming on today with more time to do the rest of an update. So I am coming up on 23 months post-op lap band. I am a year, over a year now, um, in maintenance. And I am close to the 18-week mark for um, post-op lower body lift. So, what's up? What's new? Um, weight has been fluctuating between anywhere between 140, 145. I've seen as high as 148. And it's only because my food um, has been way off. Um, exercise has picked back up. Um, started the C to 5K last week, finished it, and I just hurt. I had a a neck procedure done last week, um, which is more or less a nerve burning. I have cervical and lower lumbar stenosis. Um, they did a lower lumbar nerve burning last year. It worked really well for my lower back. So now he's concentrating on the cervical aspect or my neck. So I had a, a nerve burning last week on my left side of my nerves and, um, I think I just irritated it even more. Um, by doing the C to 5K on Thursday and then Sunday night. Um, so I have to really sit back and evaluate my fitness goals. Um, obviously, my body cannot handle the compression, I would say, of running. Um, I am a fast walker. I can walk at almost a 4.5. Um, and some people run at that. So I just think I just need to learn to come to... The realization that I might not be a runner, that I might only be a speed walker on an incline. So, and I know the faster I walk in an incline, I'm going to burn more calories. So, I think I am just going to have to abandon the fact that I'm going to be a runner. Um, that does not mean I have to learn that it does not mean I can't do C to, you know, 5Ks or 10Ks or whatever. I'm just not going to be finishing in 30 minutes or. You know, I'm, I'm going to be walking them, and that is okay. Um, it is not worth the pain that I go through um, to, to run. It's just not. It takes me days and hours of heat and ice mix, you know, back and forth, back and forth to get stuff to settle down. And then by the time I get it to settle down, it's, it's running again with the C to 5K. So I just really need to understand that I'm going to be a fast walker and not a runner, and that's okay. Um, I have been doing a modified version of Insanity a um, couple days a week. I do as much as I can, and you know, the thing with Insanity is, is your form has to be better than your speed. So as long as you're getting the form correct, you know, the reps and the speed of it will come. So I've just been doing that again with just a modified version of what my body can handle, and that's okay. Um, I set su such high expectations for myself, and then when I cannot achieve what I set out for myself, I get very discouraged. And then when I get discouraged, the first thing that goes to the wayside is my food. Um, I emotionally want to go to sweet things, chocolatey things, um, cakes, cookies, sweets, anything like that. My brain just wants to go there more or less to comfort the letdown of whatever goal I didn't achieve. So at this point in maintenance, I have to learn that some of these things I want to do for myself are not obtainable, and it's okay to do a modified version of that. You know, there's no label out there that says, if you're a weight loss surgery patient, you have to be a runner, or you have to, you know... Again, my doctor's rules were 10,000 steps a day, and I love the Fitbit for that. It shows me the days that I'm lazier or taking easy way outs not to walk as much as I normally could or can. Um, I find myself climbing more flights of stairs just to do it. But I will say this on the Fitbit. I will climb anywhere from 10 to 25 floors of steps on the days that I have classes at my school. And it's not showing up like that on my Fitbit. It'll say, sometimes it'll say a third of what I've climbed. So I don't know if it's how I'm wearing it or what, but I know my total floors climbed are not accurate to the Fitbit. So just my own perception. I'm sorry, I'm eating a banana in between doing this. Um, but life's been crazy between school, kids, housework, 
family, it's a balance. It's a balance all the time. Um, and I guess I just, my goal right now is to get my food, water, and rules back in check. I just got a fill on Saturday, which is another interesting fact. Believing that I had 3.0 cc's in my 4 cc Allergan lap band, when she pulled it out, I only had two. So first thing in my head is, oh my God, I've got a leak. I'm flipping out and I'm just like, you know, she kind of said, you know, you had a total unfill. We filled you, you know, something could be wrong. You haven't had a fill in a couple of months. You know, I understand there is some depreciation or evaporation with your fill, but that was a big jump for me. So she gave me a one cc fill. So now I'm back at 3.0 cc's. And, you know, all of it was pulled out, and she let it sit there for a while to make sure the air bubbles came through, and I was at two. So she put one in there, and then, so that should give me three. Um, and I can tell already it's not where I need to be restriction-wise. At this point, I do want to be a little bit more restricted than, say, I was six months ago. Um, just because I want to get off anywhere... Right now, I want to be in the low 130s, so that could be 8 to 10 pounds, depending on where my weight is at that day. Um, I haven't seen the 130s now again, and it's been a while, and it's because of my food choices. So, And I know I can do it. I know I can be in the 130s, and probably a week of solid eating would put me safely into the 130s, but there's just something where I would do well for two, three, four days, and then emotional crap will happen and the first thing I'm running to is to go get crap um candy chocolate sweets bad stuff and I'm not at that point yet where I can do limited quantities where I'm allowing myself a little bit because at this stage I want a lot of it so I can't just say okay Jennifer you're going to have x amount today because I take it way overboard there is no at this point right now, there is no small amount. It's like all or nothing for me. And that's just how I am. So I've got to get my head out of that mode before I can even let little bits back in. So at this point for me, it kind of has to be all or nothing in the means of all healthy, no crap. Because I've got to get out of the cycle. Because what will happen, and this is great for maintaining, and it worked great for me last year. I'd be on Monday through, you know, Thursday, Friday night. I'd have, you know, a good dinner, and I would open up on the weekend, and it would be a little more safe. But that's because I was maintaining, and I was happy where I was at. Now I actually kind of want to lose. So I have to go back to being more strict with myself. And this is just the balance of maintenance. Now, will I say that I have a solid regain right now? No. Um, just because of the fact, I swear to goodness, I'm still swelling. And I swear that some of this weight that's left on me is swelling. So I don't know what my solid weight would be. Um, I'm counting it for what it is right now, but I don't consider it a regain. Why? Because... 95% of the month, I am under my goal weight of 145 pounds. So to me, that's maintenance. So I just set a lower standard for myself when I got into the one low 30s, which I was looking at my calendar, and at this time last year, I was like 140, 140 142. So I'm almost, I mean, the exact same spot I was last year. I just like the one lower 130s better. Um, now, I did reach that low 130s right before Vegas, and that's because we were doing a Vegas challenge, and my food was on, and my exercise was on. I was doing kettlebells like a mad woman, and I was trying to tone up, and I, was, I know I had lots of lean muscles, so things are different in the aspect of my body because I don't believe I have the muscle that I did a year ago, but it'll get back there, you know. That's the thing that people have to realize when you're getting ready to go through plastic surgery. Downtime. And if your food is not on, then you're in trouble because exercise is not going to be an option. If you're using exercise to compensate your bad food habits, you're going to be in deep trouble with plastic surgery. Deep trouble. And I'm not just saying bad food habits. It could be alcohol habits. It could be any extra calories that you're 
getting rid of through exercise before a plastic surgery, if you have those habits after, you're going to gain. You're going to gain fast because you lose muscle mass fast. So just my little tip for you before plastics, get your food right. Get your head right because it is as much as a physical transformation as it is a mental transformation with plastics. Um, I could go on forever about that. But um, that's just a quick update. That's where I'm at. I will keep updating you guys. And I hope you guys all have a great week. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.